three sisters at a private Jewish school in Baltimore. They're out of class and under quarantine after health officials say that they were indirectly exposed to someone who tested positive for the coronavirus in New York. As WMAR 2 News Dave Detling explains, the school is busy trying to get it back to normal. Let's just have a regular school day and trying to address the community concerns as well. It was business as usual at Benos Yisroel, a private Jewish school in Park Heights. But missing from class, three sisters whose school administrators and health officials say were indirectly exposed to someone who tested positive for the coronavirus in New York. They were sent home Wednesday, and the school community was alerted by two text messages. They really do what needs to be done. Sarah Lefkowitz commends the school for following protocol, including deep disinfection. Lefkowitz has two daughters who attend the all-girls school. She says the school community sympathizes with the family impacted by coronavirus. My daughters are friends with the girls, and they were busy last night worrying, should I text them, should I not text them? I don't want to intrude, I don't want to make them feel bad, but I want them to know I'm thinking of them. And as directed by health officials, these three sisters will be self-quarantined for 14 days, meaning they can't come back to campus until they're cleared. Our goal in doing this is try to minimize exposure to people who have never seen this virus before, which is pretty much everybody. Dr. Clifford Mitchell with the Maryland Department of Health says quarantine and follow-up care is a necessary precaution. What we're doing is we're making sure that they're symptom-free for those 14 days. Uh, and once that happens, we're pretty much saying you're okay to return. The students' quarantine comes at a tough time in the Jewish community as they're preparing to celebrate Purim. It's heartbreaking and it, you know it's a very fun holiday coming up that they're not going to be able to be part of with their friends and it really it, it, it's breaking everyone's heart and it really is on the forefront of everyone's mind and everyone's really praying for them that nothing happens. As for the school, there's no plans to close. Administrators say they've even held an assembly to address the issue with students grades 9 through 12. But I think because the school is handling it in such a open, um, communicating, talking to the girls, letting the girls talk to them, I, I don't think there's an aspect of, of you know, scare, fear. In Park Heights, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.